Let's get baking and make my wholesome banana cake. In a large mixing bowl, add coconut sugar, mashed ripe banana, apple sauce, rice malt syrup, soy milk, and apple cider vinegar. Whisk the batter until combined. Then add in the buckwheat flour, almond flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt, and cinnamon. Then mix it together again until combined. Pour the batter into a square baking tray lined with parchment paper. Pop into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and bake for 25 minutes. Whilst the cake is baking, let's make an easy coconut whip. You're going to need a can of coconut cream that's been chilled in the fridge overnight. Scoop out the thick cream at the top of the can, making sure you don't get any of the liquid. Add the cream to a chilled mixing bowl and beat with the hand mixer for two to three minutes. Add in some vanilla and maple syrup and continue mixing until light and fluffy, then set in the fridge to chill. Once the cake is done, remove from the oven and allow to cool completely on a cooling rack. You want to make sure the cake is cold before putting on any coconut whip, otherwise it will melt. When ready to serve, go ahead and spread the coconut whip on top of the cake with a spatula. Now, if you have any leftovers of cake or coconut whip, you can store it in a container in the fridge for up to three days. This cake is one of my favorites. It's delicious and tender, and you won't be able to tell it's vegan and gluten-free. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do, and thank you so much for watching.